Hello everyone, SAS here, back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a paracord bracelet, such as this one. This one is a King Cobra Weave, but uh, it's about the same thing. This is what the braid actually looks like. Uh, this is the one I wear at all times. I'm sorry it's a little bit wet there, I just did the uh, dishes. But this is kind of an example. I will be doing the King Cobra Weave in another video. But you can see the inner uh, inside there, if you can kind of get that. But that's where the actual Cobra Weave bracelet is. So, um, yeah, like I stated, this is the Cobra Weave. What you're going to need for this project is some scissors, a lighter, a standard lighter, not a cigar lighter, no matches. They don't burn as well, uh, burn the actual rope as well. It's just a regular lighter. You can use a Bic or whatever. This is... A tape measure. You can use a ruler as well, but I find a tape measure is easier. 8 to 10 feet paracord, depending on your uh, wrist size. And 2 feet, two feet, nah, uh, 2 inches of some more paracord, depending on your wrist size. That's about the standard. I like to have a lot of play room with this, so um, if I do mess up or it doesn't fit the person, I can always modify it. Alright, what you're going to want to do, I'm sorry this is kind of a side view, I'll try to get this in the front view as best as I can, but um, you're going to want to get this two feet, I'm on a paracord here, and make a knot with both sides of the paracord, not just one, just both. It doesn't matter where it is because you'll probably do the knot over again anyway depending on the person's wrist size or your wrist size. If it is on your wrist, you can test it now, but always leave some extra paracord at the end. More than this, this is just this is outrageously big, you can see. But um, I will make it smaller. But you can test it out and see how it fits on you. But don't snip the ends yet. All right, now you're gonna want to get your eight feet of paracord here, or eight to ten feet, whatever you want. How big your wrist size is, of course. Um, you're going to want to put this under the base of the paracord bracelet. This is your base. I like to call it the base. Um, you want to cross over. I'm actually going to try to turn this as best as I can for you guys. I like to make instructional videos as best as I can. Alright. You're going to want to cross over with the left hand side. I, start out with, I always start with the left. And you want to get the right part of paracord, the right side, and cross over, like that. And then you want to go under the base and through the loop of the left hand side, you can kind of catch that. I will be doing this with less amount of paracord down the line of this video, so if you didn't really get that, you can uh, fast forward the video. Okay, you want to make sure both sides of the paracord are equal, so I'm going to stop the camera and make sure both sides are equal to each other, um, so that there's no mess, uh, the actual paracord length is not messed up or anything like that, so I'm just going to do that right Alright everyone, both sides are equal in length now, and when you made this first knot, it does kind of look weird, so what you're going to want to do is maybe loose up, loosen up on the actual rope here, and pull that knot so the little bump here is pointing straight up. Not to the side, but straight up. Because you want to make this bracelet as, look as best as possible. You want to pull that tight. Like so. And you're going to repeat the process. The side in which, the opposite side in which uh, you did it the first time. So I did it left. So now you're going to want to get the right hand side. Yeah, it is kind of tricky doing it this way. You want to get the right hand side and do it the same exact way, just the right hand side. Alright. So you're going to want to pull that knot together right. And the second knot wants to do the same thing as the first knot. It's going to start doing this for like a couple two or three knots but then it'll stop so you just want to pull and make sure that little hoop there 
is pointing straight up or if it's kind of to the side it's alright and pull it tight alright and now you're going to want to do the, it with the, revor the reverse order now the left hand side so now you want to get the left hand strand put it and then get the right one go over and under and through the other loop and pull now one more now do the right hand side with, and get the left and go over go under through the base or not through the base but uh, through the other loop and pull tight alright everyone I'm gonna go about mid to uh, mid to almost all the way down and then I'll show you then out again so it's a little bit shorter and uh, then I'll show you how to finish it up alright everyone I forgot to mention but the side with the loop right there that's the side you're gonna wanna cross over with or start off so if you can't remember left to right left to right left to right and uh, or you mess up you can always look back and see whatever side has the loop you cross that side over as well when you actually braid this you might want to push up on the knots like that with the base pull the base and push up through the knots so there's no little gap between them and these loops right here will look pretty nice all right so i'm gonna go finish this, this back up all right guys i'm pretty much halfway done and i wanted to show you better first person view of how to do this knot once again so this is for the people that had to maybe f uh, fast forward so you can uh, see the knot a little bit better. But you want to cross over, get your other side, go under the base, through the other side, or the other hoop, and pull tight, and push forward. And that will... Uh, make your braid look pretty nice alright so I'll uh, get back to you guys when I'm almost done with the bracelet alright everyone this is when you're gonna finish it off you're done with the bracelet you got the knot and uh, you're done with the braid how long you want it to be now what you're gonna want to do is get your scissors make sure they're sharp sharp this one's a these ones are a little dull but um, make sure you have sharp ones because it's not gonna cut the cord that well are right, you going to want to get this as close as to the bracelet as you can? One of the strands. And I'm going to actually pull this up a little bit so I can see it. And then you want to cut it. Like so. Then get your lighter. And burn the ends. Push that down so it makes sure the knot doesn't go anywhere. Now, you're going to have a, probably a little white spot right there. You can actually go over that with Sharpie. I imagine. I haven't really ever did, did that. Because I never needed to. But uh, you could do that. Now, same with the other side. Trim off. Trim it off. And burn it. And then flatten it. And flattening it will let the let it so it doesn't have the cordage right there slip over the sides. All right, guys. Now you're gonna want to redo this knot. Just redo it. Make sure the knot looks nice and things like that. Like this one looks kind of trashy. So I'm gonna redo it. Just get both sides. And let them see the hoop. All right, that one's better. See, that's a little bit better of a knot. Now you want to do the same thing as you did with the sides, but with these two end strands. You might want to go uh, one strand by, and then go do the other one. 
because doing it both will make your your scissors won't really do it unless your scissors are really sharp and then you're going to want to just burn the ends just like this I'm not going to do it because uh, I don't know how this this guy's wrist the wrist size so I'm going to bring it in tomorrow to show him and if it fits him right then uh, then I'll uh, just trim off the ends and burn them but uh, if it doesn't I'll you know tighten up the knot or whatever I have to do and uh, give them to it that way and just trim the sides and thing, things like that but uh, it looks pretty clean the braid it looks beautiful see here and then the uh, little part on here that uh, you kind of have to have because it sometimes doesn't fit over people's wrists then you got the knot there that you will trim off these ends if you're gonna give it to someone kind of keep these and then burn it and cut them in front of them to make sure it fits them right but um all right that finishes my tutorial on how to do the Cobra Weave Paracord Survival Bracelet. Uh, to unwrap these, all you do is cut it, and it'll you just take it all off and to use it in a survival situation or if you just have to use it. So uh, thank you for watching. Remember to comment, rate, and uh, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.